Greetings and salutations. We continue with our choice of our last soulmates, and then we've seen all of the girls, and that will be Ali today. Okay, let's get going. I'm expecting lots of sports or running or jogging. Okay, another new area. Hmm. How I let Ali talk me into this, I'll never know. You sure this is a good idea? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Ali grabbed my hand and pulled me towards the slope of the hill. Relax, Silverane, what's the worst that could happen? Well, I could die. Would it be too much to ask you on a TV show that didn't end up with me dead? Don't worry, I got you. Oh, shit. Ali slipped on a rollerblades and pulled me down the hill with her. I tried to step back up on reflex, but all I could do is just stand up with the rollerblades. Oh, fuck. We started rolling down the hill faster and faster and faster. Ali was rolling down the hill backwards at full speed. I could see the panic in her eyes. I couldn't figure out how to stop. We were going faster and faster. I screamed. Ali laughed and pointed at me. Gosh, your face is priceless. I love it. Ali turned around effortlessly and somehow uh, glided next to me without ever having to let go of my hand. Our breakneck pace became slower and slower as she steered us back and forth repeatedly. Before I knew it, we were gliding down the road smoothly. The wind felt so nice. Now you've got the hang of it. You've got a funny way of teaching. Best way to teach a bird to fly is throwing it off a cliff now. No! That's definitely a way of looking at it. Don't worry about it, you weren't ever in danger. Have you been rollerblading for a long time? Nope. Actually, I just learned how to today. Uh, uh, what was that about never being in danger? You're quite the daredevil, aren't you? What gave that away? She laughed as she slapped me on the back. You know, you're a pretty quick learner. She picked up rollerblading almost as fast as I did. Well, I've got a pretty great teacher. It's lots of fun hanging out with you, Ali. Shucks, I feel the same way, Silver Rain. It's great to be around someone willing to go on an adventure. The world's gone crazy, we're all gonna die. You might as well be around people that make your uh, life worth living. I couldn't say it better myself. You know, I bet you can't skate backwards. Ali reversed and started skating backwards as if to taunt me. Oh, why's that? Just think it's a bit too scary for a person who screams when they start going down a little bump. I'm a silver and I can't handle a little bum. Ah, help me! Oh, come on, it was a hill. Yeah, yeah. I felt a fire light inside me. Bring it up on Nally. Oh, are you sure? Did I stutter? There's some. There's <laughs> there comes a time in every person's life where we know we're taking a stupid bet, but do it anyway. With the power of misplaced confidence and adrenaline, I jumped high into the air. Well, this ain't going to end well, no matter what I do. I'm, I bet both of them I'm going to land on my backside. 360 rotation. Wait, am I spinning or is it the world spinning? I'm not sure. And then it dawned on me. Oh, fuck. Crash. Now, I won't let you kill Silver. What? You're going to wish we had. Just now? What the hell? You're up. You're okay, Silver. Try not to move. You're a little banged up right now. But you'll be just fine in no time. Cat and I treated your injuries pretty well, if I do say so myself. What happened? Uh, well, you skated backwards? We're definitely. S we're defining skating quite liberally, aren't we? How did I get here? I carried you here. Oh man, my head. Take it easy, it's only been a few hours since you KO'd yourself. Well, it's sort of my fault, but... I made you some food. It should help you get your strength back up quick. Thanks, Ali. That's really nice of you. Don't expect something that Violet would make. All I can promise is that food is probably healthier than my last suggestion before you knock yourself out. I'll take my chances. Took a bite of the food cautiously. Ah, I'm dying! Ah, For a moment, Ali was wide-eyed with shock and horror. Uh, just messing with you. The food's delicious, thanks, Ali. Just figured I'd get a little payback. You know, no one forces you to jump. 
Jill Arthur slapped me on the shoulder and ran her hand through my hair and scratched it. I found myself smiling and admiring the blue of her eyes. I'm looking forward to our next adventure, Silver. But promise not to be too stupid again, okay? I'll try my best, but people can't help but do stupid things to impress a pretty girl. I guess impressed is what we'll call it. We spent the rest of the day making fun of each other for how stupid we were being. Somehow, some way, Ali could take ord the ordinary and turn it into an adventure. I was laughing so hard I could barely feel any pain. Before I knew it, it was night time. After today's date, I went out for a short walk outside the mansion. Oh, hey, Silver Ray. Hey, Cat, what's up? Let's not waste any time. I gotta get back to editing and you know what I wanna hear. I know Violet was your favourite till now, but maybe Ali's shaking things up a bit. Who's number one now? I'm gonna say... Ali, actually. I got to know for less time, I think I like Ali more than Violet now. She makes every moment exciting, I can't get enough of that. Can't wait to see her again. You can really change your mind like the wind, huh? Doesn't matter to me, though. I'm your producer, not your life coach. Anyway, I've got good news for you uh, that you might be interested in. What's that? The plan was a success, having three soulmate candidates has worked magic for our ratings. Which, of course, means the show will go on. That's awesome. Am I safe now? Just for now. We're not out of the woods yet. We need to make sure the next stretch of this show's ratings are even higher. Okay. We have to go on a second date with each of them. <laughs> Again, it's the same conversations with Cat. Honestly, though, I'm thinking it, thinking about it. From the information we're gathering from those nighttime uh, flashbacks, none of the girls fit into that scenario perfectly. Okay, tomorrow we're going to be asking you to have your first, second date with. Just put some thought into that. Yep. Again, Cat. Is not saying anything different. I borrowed a boat and went out for a cruise around the island. I love the way the wind feels. Why is that? It feels like freedom. I can't get enough of it. No cameras, no people, no nothing to stop me from. She pulled me close and kissed me on the lips. For a moment, time stopped and we were the only two people that existed. Doing what I want. I smiled. I'm pretty sure we don't need to be all the way out here just for a kiss. Guess you're right, after all, it's hotter if people are watching. We laughed together as we cruised along till sundown. The world was ours. The sound of our waves grew louder and louder, threatening to pull me back into reality. Will I know you before I'm taken under? Now, from flashbacks like that, I keep thinking Ali's actually the closest of all the types. Oh my gosh, I heard what was uh, happened yesterday. Are you okay? No no worries, I'm thanks. I'm good, thanks, Yui. Tripping over my words right now. Okay, so I'm so relieved. Should you not be resting after yesterday? No, no need. I've only got a few scrapes and bruises. And probably a mild concussion. I'm surprised the both of you aren't quite dead after what you... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm surprised the both of you aren't dead after what you pulled. Believe me. Me too. Wait, what? I mean, oh, uh, no worries, Scarlet. I've been rollerblading for long people than most people ever have. Technically, that's probably true, but... You should teach us how to rollerblade, Ali. Seems like it'd be fun. Uh, you sure, Tara? I feel like that might not be a good idea. What's the worst that could happen? I like your attitude, girl. Come on, let's hit the road. Ali grabbed Tara's hand and pulled her away. Some time later. Hey Tara, how is this skating? There's no words. I think Ali broke Tara. Scarlet waved her hands in front, frantically in front of Tara's face to check if anyone's still in there. Tara, you in there? Hey Tara, the internet's back. Guess no one's home. Uh, is there a medic on the island? Wait a minute, I made a new serum the other day. That might just be the thing to restore Tara's mind. Just give me a second to administer it. Hold on, you're talking about the thing that turned everyone into zombies? Well, I think one field test isn't really enough to see if it's botched or not, so why not just... I tried to stop her administering it, but it's too late. Gah! Oh boy. Give me brains! Bananas! I guess this one's busted too. Do you have an antidote? 
Just kidding, just kidding. I got it right here. Give me a moment. Luckily, Terra ended up being okay. I spent the rest of the morning playing video games as therapy for Terra. Morning, Silver Rain. Congratulations, you made it to fourth day. Okay. You're the first person to have not one, not two, but three soulmate candidates. Who would have thought? Granted, soulmate candidates don't exist, but we headed it to that part out. You should be really, really proud of yourself. Can't really tell if you're serious or not. I'll leave that for you to guess. Anyway, between your three <coughs> lucky romantic interests, Scarlet, Violet, and Ali, who would I want to spend today with? Well, Ali almost killed us. Scarlet is absolutely loony and keeps experimenting on people, and Violet has issues. But we'll explore those uh, explore, explore those next time, and hopefully I can stop stuttering and getting my tongue in a twist. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.